Hello, you wondrous people, young and old. Greetings, CDS here, bringing you part four of my Pokemon White 2 Let's Play. Thank you guys for joining me again today for another wonderful video gaming adventure. If, you're, if it is your first time here, welcome. All are welcome. Please be kind. Please be nice. And make sure to give me some cream of ice. Um, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going with, but anyway. So in between videos, I PK hexed, as I usually tend to do in these playthroughs. I PK hexed uh, Growlithe to just be an Arcanine. Um, my main justification for this is because it's going to take literally forever before I can actually get a legitimate Firestone. I have to get to the desert area, which I know doesn't sound like forever, but it kind of is. Well, okay, maybe it's not forever specifically, but... Oof! Trying to level up Arcanine, or Growlithe rather, into a high enough level to learn the moves that it has, crunch and close combat, is a pain in the rear. So I'd rather just give it access to it now and make sure it's already in Arcanine so we don't worry about it later. I also have decided that instead of uh, Ampharos, which I always go with, I am in fact going to go with Electivire. Frankly, surprisingly enough, it already had an Adam Nature when I caught it, so that's cool. I gave it Thunder Punch, Earthquake, Brick Break, and Ice Punch, which gives it universal type coverage. And I gave it Max Attack and Speed. Arcanine, I gave Max Special Attack and Attack, or Speed, rather. I think I gave it some investment in Attack, but I honestly can't remember. But uh, along with them, I also did some altering with the rest of my team. So I'm actually going to box Pidove because I don't need a flyer right now. I'm probably going to end up giving Cut to Sawaddle. And I also realized why the hell I can't evolve my bloody freaking Actually, no, I'm going to put Perloin back in. Uh, Flaffy doesn't need to be in now. I gave it a Quiet Nature and access to Signal Beam and Fire Punch, but... You know what? I always use Amphrost, so let's, let's give some love to a physical electric type for once. Uh, but anyway... I figured out why the I keep forgetting this, but the reason my Riolu isn't evolving is because it's nighttime. Riolu evolves only into Lucario when it has high enough happiness in the daytime, and I continuously forget that. I don't know why you'd think I'd remember something like that, considering Lucario is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, but it seems to be the kind of mistake I'm capable of. So the next gym here is Gym Leader Berg who is the Fire-type Gym Leader. Or, did I really just say Fire-type? Bug-type Gym Leader, my bad. But before we can even fight Berg, we are forced into a detour into the literal sewers of Castellia City. So, we gotta go now and follow Iris, who, if you played Black 2, or Black 1, rather, she was the final Gym Leader instead of Dragon, I believe his name is who was the final gym leader in White 1. Uh, she was a dragon user in that game. In this game, I'm just going to spoil it now, she is actually the new champion in place of Alder. Alder was a champion at the end of White 1 and White 2, or White, Black and White 1, but is no longer the gym leader in this game. He's actually a super boss, which I will be fighting at the end of the playthrough. I'll probably use him as, like, the milestone for the end of the game. Since obviously with, like what I said with Platinum, there wasn't really much to, uh, uh, do, like, huh. There wasn't, like, a major post-game challenge, uh, except for, you know, rebattling the Elite Four, which I could probably, I probably already did that. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so the weird gimmick in the sewer system in this game is that the water level raises and lowers depending on the time of day. So at night, the water level is low, or no, I think it's actually per seasons, now that I think about it. But uh, per the seasons, anyway. Uh, depending on what season it is, the water tide level will be higher or lower. It's a weird kind of gimmick, but it's sort of neat. And uh, that's another thing that I, I actually have not mentioned once so far. And that is a really cool aspect of the game where, um, using the Nintendo DS's internal battery, it determines what month of the year it is. And with that, it determines as well 
what season the game is in. Um, right now, the actual month is July, so the game comes up as being in autumn. The reason is that every month, the season changes in-game. It doesn't actually change the actual season. It doesn't change like in real life, where it's essentially four months, or three months of the year per season. Although it is technically still the same. Hmm. Hmm. The main difference is the Pokémon that you can catch. Because per season, each season has slightly different Pokémon you can catch. The big thing it influences, though, is the Grass-type Pokémon Deerling and Sawsbuck, which are an evolutionary line, which are both Grass-Normal-types, that have different regional forms depending on the season they are caught in. Spring, Summer, Autumn, and Winter. I do really... I, I just thought of that, though. It's like... Every year else in the world is called Autumn, but here in the States we call it Fall. I don't really know why. It seems weird to me. Alright, but I'm actually going to give Sawaddle some training here. I also gave Sawaddle access to Sea Bomb simply because it's like the only grass move that it can get that's not Razor Leaf. And pretty much the only other move it gets in general. Like, good move, I might add. Like, it doesn't have access to x Scissor until it evolves into, into Livani at level 1. Well, whatever level you level it up to after, I don't know, evolving it from, uh, from Swaddle into Swaddle. So we got a grassy duo hitting some... Oh, I got Razor Leaf. Got left. Fuck. Can't go that way. Damn it! I have Repels active, but since my Swaddle is still lower level than the rest of the Pokémon here, I don't really have any luck with this crap. Also, I think putting a grass type against these poison types may not have been the best option. Nope, that was definitely not the best option. Alright, well Electivire then will murder it. So yeah, I am I am cheating basically by using an Electivire already, but you know what? Screw it, I don't care. I just wanted a damn Electivire. Leave me alone. Alright, uh, I can go this way, though. I can go back this way, and there's a trainer. I actually didn't go the right way. Um, which is weird, because I always go the right way in this dungeon. Hello, Scott. <sighs> Eat my seeds! That sounded a lot worse than I meant it to. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, eat my seeds, you bastard. Alright, so... Oh, there's an item here. Hold on. I'll grab that. I found a pearl! I... I kind of want to know why the hell there's just a pearl, like, in a sewer system. But I'm also probably a little too scared to ask. Alright, so I gotta go this way. Wait, hold on. Um, real quick. I can't go this way yet, but I will go this way when I'm done. Because, um, for, I believe the... Hold on, I'll get to that in a second. I found a Twisted Spoon. It boosts the power of Psychic-type moves by, I believe, either 10 or 20%. I can't remember the actual math on that. What do you want? Team Plasma, you villains. What? Don't treat us like villains. And don't interfere with our plans to liberate Pokemon. Liberate? Ha! You're just ordinary Pokemon thieves. And what's more, you use those stolen Pokemon like they're tools. Shut up! Hand over your Pokemon! Let's do this. Alright, time to whip some plasma ass. Alright, you fuckers. You fucking think he's so cool by, by knocking your Pokemon in between your hands and stuff. I'll fuck you up, you little bastards. I don't give a flying fuck about your shit. I'll fucking kill you and your whole goddamn family. Why the fuck did you have to hit the damn sand aisle? That was my target. I don't think it'll actually hit Scrafty. Oh, it does. Okay. Maybe that was a different thing. Maybe that was like a later gen thing. I remember like in certain in one or two generations, I can't remember which one. One of the generations, like if you hit 
if you aimed at a Pokemon in a double battle and the other Pokemon fainted it before you hit it, then your attack would fail and it wouldn't auto-target to the other Pokemon. I remember that very clearly, I just don't remember where I remember it from. And here comes Berg! Can you be the gym leader? Yes sir, one and the same. I'm Berg. Berg. And there was one suspi- there was no one suspicious beyond here. Is that so? Yes indeedy! I'm concerned about Team Plasma as well. More importantly, should we leave this place? For some reason, this sewer is bugging me. Oh, hardy har har. Didn't you and the other gym leaders fight against Team Plasma two years ago? Thanks for your help. Take this. I can't use it because it's an HF. I'll never forget Pokemon themes. No way! He's gone. You there. Oh god, what's happening? Oh, Colress. Forgot about you. Hi, Colgate. That was an excellent... Oh. <clears throat> I don't know if I can do the deep voice. Hold on. I always imagine Colress having a deep voice. Hold on. <clears throat> okay, let me try. That was an excellent demonstration of battle. The way you brought out your power of your Pokemon against an opponent like Team Plasma? Astounding. Simply astounding. Interesting as well. I see. Okay, I, I'm definitely going to need to improve upon that. My voice is, is... I don't know, it's weird. Like, I feel like my voice has like a sour twang to it sometimes. Who was that? I don't fucking know. What are you going to do? Stay here and train your Pokemon. Or maybe you should come challenge me, the gym leader. Be seeing ya. Well, I am going to kick your ass soon enough, but I have some business in this sewer system, so give me a few minutes. Okay, so in here as well, and I believe this is the first time that you could do this, but in this sewer system, you can actually get a hold of the Pokemon Eevee. Well, not specifically in the sewer itself, but there's a little garden thingy that was being blocked by that kid earlier that we can access now that he's gone and in that there is a 5% chance of encountering Eevee <laughs> if I'm I believe that this was the first Pokemon game where you could capture Eevee in the wild I believe every other Pokemon game before this you couldn't do that so I'm actually gonna try to catch one here I hope I can get lucky on it though like I said, 5% encounter rate. It's not the easiest thing in the world to find. You can also find Lopany and Rattata. And I think there's another Pokemon that I can't remember. And yes, I pronounce it Rattata, not Rattata, by the way. It's just how I pronounce it. Please don't call me it anything. Oh, Petalil. That's right. You might want to capture a Petalil in case you want to get... Oh, I should have just thrown a fucking football. That was stupid. Um, in case you want to get a Whimsicott later on, because... There's a certain building, when I get further along here, where I can actually trade a Petalil to this guy and he will give me a Cottony for my trouble. Cottony is exclusive to Black 2 and Petalil is exclusive to White 2. Petalil and, and Cottony both evolve under their respective evolutions, Lilligant and Whimsicott, via access of the Sunstone. However, Whimsicott is objectively better than Lilligant because of a vastly superior move pool consisting of moves that are not just stab moves. Whereas in the case of Petalil, it pretty much only has grass covers and not much else. It does get access to Quiver Dance, which is an excellent move, but the remainder of its moveset is pretty much non-existent in a sense of being actually good. Here's also an excellent place to grind for Autonos as well, before you fight Berg in case you are under level. This is actually where I would I would frequently grind my Growlithe in order to level it up to around 20 or 25, somewhere in the middle there, so that I could defeat Berg without any issue. I might catch a Rattata later, but probably not. Right now I just- oh yeah, you can catch Eevee too, or Skitty rather. Skitty is a good Pokemon if you want to do something where you are specifically catching 
uh, Pokemon of a specific gender. So, Skitty has two abilities. One of them, which is Normalize, is probably one of the worst abilities in the game that's not named Truant or Slow Start, because it converts all of Skitty's moves into Normal-type moves, regardless of what their original type was. So, Normalize is a completely worthless ability. I just realized that I was having a repel on this entire time. Um, but it is a completely useless ability for Skitty. However, its other ability is called Cute Charm. Now, Cute Charm in battle just has a 50% chance of causing the infatuation status to a Pokémon that makes direct contact with them in battle if the Pokémon is the opposite gender of the user. However, what this also does is an out-of-battle effect that was introduced, I believe, in Pokémon Emerald or, or Fire Red and Leaf Green. Or it was introduced in Gen 4. I can't remember the exact gen it was introduced in. But this ability allows you to capture Pokémon of the opposite gender of the Q-Charm user 75% of the time, no matter what. Or I believe it, it's either 75 or 67% of the time. I don't remember. I think it's like... It's like two-thirds of the time you can capture it, and one-third of the time you can't. Now, what this means is that you can capture Pokémon, such as Eevee, which has an 87.5% ratio of being male, and you can increase the chance of it being female from a paltry 12% to a hefty 67%. This makes it much easier to acquire female Pokémon for the purposes of breeding for competitive teams, or just in general if you want to breed Pokémon to perhaps get the baby forms or to egg moves later on in your journey. I said all that like it was off a script, but that was literally off the top of my head. So, maybe I should try to make more videos like that, because that was actually more concise than most of my script crap. So yeah, I'm going to be here a minute, just looking for freaking Eevees. I'm just going to get one just to show that it's here. Whether it's male or female. Oh, and also, if you are trying to get the gendered thing here, what it does is it doesn't just... Uh, it doesn't just affect specific Pokémon with gender ratios like Eevee, where it has a higher chance of being male because it was originally a gift Pokémon. The other thing it can do is it actually increases it on either side of the coin because it changes the gender ratio, essentially, of the Pokémon you're encountering. Oh, there's an Audino here. Uh, it changes, essentially, the gender ratio to be 67 to 20 to 33%, which actually still allows you to have a two and a half times higher chance of catching a female Eevee than you would otherwise, because it still is a higher chance than the original, excuse me, 12 and a half percent. That might level me up twice. Yup. Maybe halfway to third? Okay. So yeah, this is gonna take a minute. Yeah, Eevee is not common, and it's, I think it's like a one, it's a, between a, it's between a one and five percent encounter rate. It's the rarest encounter rate in the game. But this is the only place in the game that you can actually find Eevee at. So trust me, persistence will help. The reason is because Eevee is obviously an excellent Pokemon because of its ability to change its type, or rather have a different custom evolution depending on what your team requires. So, for example, if you don't want to use a Growlithe, you can go with a Flareon instead for your Fire-type use. Or if you don't want to do that, instead of using Electivire, you can use Jolteon. If you didn't pick the Water Starter, or you don't want to use, say, something like Magikarp with Gyarados or Azumarill, for example, you can instead evolve your Eevee into Vaporeon with a Water Stone, so you can have a Water type there. You can also evolve it into Umbreon if you want to level up its happiness during the night, and Espeon if you want to do the same thing, but evolve it during the daytime. The only other options, Leafeon and Glaceon, are actually both post-game evolutions. So unfortunately, you cannot evolve Eevee into either of those two forms until you have beaten the Elite Four of the Champion. Kind of a downside, but in all honesty, Glaceon and Leafeon are probably the worst overall of the evolutions, simply because there are so many other Pokémon with better offensive typing and better move pools than the two of those. Although I can't deny that a fucking bulky defensive ice type with fucking high-powered special attack is a very attractive type of uh, combat that I do appreciate very much. I believe that Glaceon has the highest special attack of every non-legendary ice Pokémon. 
Actually, this is going to get kind of tedious if I keep doing this over and over again. I'm trying to spit Pokemon facts to make this more interesting. Uh, see, this is this is the this is the biggest aspect of Pokemon that I don't like, and um, well, this is one of the aspects I don't like. See, I've been criticized in the past for complaining a lot about Pokemon, but still playing every game. And the honest reason is simply because there's so much about Pokemon that I just don't fucking care about. But there's so much more that I love. I just love battling, I love the type system, I love the stats, I love the numerical aspect of training and leveling Pokemon. Although I will agree very strongly that trying to do it legitimately is incredibly fucking annoying and tedious, and I hate that. Although in Sword and Shield it became a lot easier with the with the introduction of the XP candies that were available in apparently the Let's Go games. I never played them, so I didn't know that. Um God damn it all. Give me a fucking Eevee! Good god! I mean, I should probably be killing these fucking things to gain some experience, but it's I'm gonna kill this thing. Just because I can kill it in one hit. But it barely gives me any experience compared to an Audemars. And these fucking Rattatas. I'm sorry if this is boring. Oh god, my voice cracked. Jesus. I'm sorry if this is boring to watch. I just, I just want my fucking godforsaken Eevee already. It's like, oh fucking stop it with the skitties and the pedalils and the pedoves and the everything that's not an Eevee. Maybe I'll try the double grass a little more because. Uh, I probably would have better chance because that's two Pokemon appearing at once. Oh yeah, that's something I never explained either. The darker grass, which was explained at the beginning of when we first, before we got to Burbank City, um, it's the precursor to the Horde battles of Gen 5 and the SOS chaining battles of Gen, or sorry, Horde battles of Gen 6 and the SOS chains of Gen 7. Because in the darker grass, it allows you to encounter two Pokémon simultaneously in a double battle. Which I really wish they had introduced two generations ago. I think it would have been an amazing addition to Generation 3 when the concept was introduced in the first place. There's also two other styles of battle in Pokémon in, in, that were introduced in the Generation 5 games that sadly you don't really see anymore. Thank you, God and Eevee! <laughs> Okay, cool. Alright. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna... Fucking hell. God damn it all. I'm gonna string shot. I'm gonna have to. And I'm gonna have to brick break that frickin' pedal hill. This is actually kind of a problem, because uh, since I'm in a double battle, um, it means that I have to use two moves. And it's, it gives me a much higher chance of accidentally killing the Eevee. Oh, come on. For fuck's sake. Alright, just please stop. You're gonna hurt me. I don't wanna be hurt. Yeah, like I said, Eevee, very hard to catch. Took me, it's taken me like, what, 10 minutes damn near this playthrough just to frickin' catch an Eevee? And I haven't even technically caught it yet. I'm already talking about it. I caught it. Okay, do I dare? I don't think Bug Bite will kill it, but I don't know. Oh, I have to frickin'. Ugh. I forgot about that. Okay, fine, 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 there. I have to use the first slot of my... See, because I was just playing Pokemon Coliseum not too long ago, and you can use a Pokeball in a double battle with either Pokemon. Oh, Eevee, my girl, my boy. Oh, shit. Riolo just almost died. Wait, did I only heal 10 HP? I thought I had a fucking Sickness Bear gun. Huh. Come on. Oh, come on. Quit spamming your quick attack. Uh, I don't like it. And I can't use any items when I'm using the frickin' dust ball, which is annoying as all hell. Stop shaking once! Shake more than once, please! Good lord! Oh, gabugga. I gotta use frickin' Electivire. Uh, I'm actually kind of regretting not bringing my goddamn Flaffy with me. Quick Attack would have enabled Static, and I also had Thunder Wave in case that didn't work. Alright, we'll just frickin' get in the ball, boy, come on. 
I, I don't I don't have the uh Alright, fine. I'll just frickin' wait, what can hit what can hit you without killing you? Oh god. I'm paying the price for having hacked movesets now. Oh boy. Uh Arcanine probably can. I have our hidden power grass on Arcanine, so that should be enough. Alright, so I'm gonna actually freaking use a max revive. Just to eat up one of the turns. And then I'll use hidden power grass. I swear to Christ, if you get a critical hit, I'm gonna be Whoa, hello! That did a lot more than I thought it would. Okay. Full restore on you again, and then I, I'll try to go with one more hidden power grass. If that crits, I'm fucked. If it does crit, I'm just gonna freaking grab one later off screen. I don't even know if I'm gonna use an evolution. I just, I just wanted an Eevee. All right, now we should be good. Eevee has a low catch rate. I don't know why, but it does. It just keeps fucking spamming quick attack. Good God, can you stop trying to murder me with your speed? This damn catch is gonna take up the entire fucking video. Oh, get in the ball, you fluffy bastard. Please, just get in the bloody ball. Come on. One, two, three. Ugh! <laughs> oh, you frustrate me, Eevee. I love you to death. I love Eevee and its evolutions. But come on, one, two, three. God damn it. <laughs> Why does it keep doing that? That's three in a row. Fuck. I can't wait to get to the legendaries for this game. That's gonna be even more fun. And of course, you frickin' pop right out on the fucking second one. Oh, there's a dead Electivire. Bye, Bire. Bye. Alright. Swaddle so go. This isn't frustrating in the slightest. I really should have frickin' put Flaffy back in my damn party. I'm tempted to, like, cut the video and then cut back when I've caught the fucking thing. Because this is taking a long time. I'm using Dusk Balls in the night. Should I switch to Ultras? Would I be having better luck there? Like, sure, fuck it. Try it. Why not? Nope. Okay, then. Just gonna have to keep chucking the dusks at it. Yeah, now imagine trying to catch this fucker with a Pokeball. Trust me, I've had my fair share of time for that didn't frickin' work. It's gonna start struggling if it keeps doing this. I don't think Quick Attack is all it has. It probably has Growl and something like that, but... It's just spamming Quick Attack so much that I don't know what else it could have. Okay. Thank you, fluffy puff ball made of brown sugar. It's like a cinnamon roll on legs. I'm just trying to fucking catch a damn Eevee, and it's murdering my entire team. Oh my god. I have to keep this in. I'm sorry, guys, if this is not entertaining to you. But this is just so ridiculous. I can't even right now. Oh my god. I can't fucking even. This is so dumb. I just want my freaking Eevee. Uh, come on, fluffy marshmallow tail whip motherfucker cinnamon bun. God fucking damn it, you bastard. Get in the... This is like top 10 booking on hardest to catch. What the hell? Come on, come on. Thank you, God, and my suffering. <laughs> that took up more than half of this video. Oh my God. And now I have to fucking end the video because that one thing took up the whole fucking thing. Okay, guys. I am sorry about that complete and utter cacophony. I promise I'll make up for it in the next video. But thank you guys so much for watching. 
If you guys enjoyed what you saw just now and you want to see more, which I don't blame you if you don't, please leave a like on the video and subscribe for future content. And there, don't forget to check down in the description for some playlists and some other stuff that I've done. And until next time, this has been ZDS, making YouTube fun one video at a time, and I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, have a good night, everyone.